Hallelujah. Once again, I welcome you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So today, we will be reviewing about everything that we studied in the previous class. So I hope you all remember, we studied about Belshazzar and Daniel, right? So what did we study? We learned that how Belshazzar, instead of growing up knowing about God and his greatness, he still did not humble himself. Moreover, he used the utensils which was meant for God's glory and which was supposed to be used only for his worship. He misused them by using it up for his party to drink in them. And that is why what happened, judgment came upon him and his kingdom was taken away from him. On the other hand, when we look at Daniel, we see that he lived a very wonderful life. He lived humbly in the presence of God and that is why God honored him instead. And thereafter, he was raised up, he was lifted up high, he was exalted and moreover, he received the third place in the kingdom, right? And we see how God exalted him in all of his ways. And thereafter, he became a testimony to all the people around him, even those who did not know God, he became a testimony to them. Right? So this is what we learned in the previous class and this is also a challenge to all of us that we should live a life where we humble ourselves no matter what, even when God exalts us, when God takes us up uh, high to higher places, gives us all the achievements, gives us great talents and gifts, yet we should humble ourselves, we should live a humble life, yes? And not just that, we should also honor God. Right? We should honor God in all of our ways, be it in our speech, be it in our words, whatever we speak, be it in our way of living, be it in our own houses, when we go for work, in all of our ways, we should honor him. We should also honor him by reading his word, by meditating upon his word, obeying his word. Apart from that, also obeying our parents and elders in Christ. Right? And one more thing that I would like to share with all of you, that there will be time when people around you will lift you up, will praise you for all the excellent talents and the gifts or achievements that you have in your life. But even then, remember, not, do not get swayed away with this. Do not get carried away by these achievements. Do not get carried away by the praises, but rather at all time, give glory to God and humble yourself. Yes, I want you all to do this. And now let us all move ahead and make a short prayer asking God to help us to humble ourselves for it is only God and His Holy Spirit that can help us in to be able to humble ourselves, to be able to live in purity, to be able to live in the way that God wants us to. Yes, let us make a short prayer. Father, Lord, my God, we thank you, Father, at this time that you've allowed us, God, to read from your word, to know more about your word, Father. As you have taught us, God, to live a humble life. We have seen that Daniel lived a humble life and thereafter, at, at all times, Father, you, you exalted him, Father. You honored him too. Father, I pray that help us all that we will be able to humble ourselves at all situations. Even when people praise us, when you give us when you bestow your gifts and talents upon us even that moment we'll be able to humble ourselves and through all parts of our life through every sphere of our life we will be able to honor you in every way we'll be able to honor you god help us father and we pray that your holy spirit be bestowed upon us that through the strength of your holy spirit we will be able to live a life that is according to your desire god we thank you father in jesus name we pray and thank you amen so now, let us move on to the activity session. Now here, this is page number 58 according to your resource book. So what you have to do is, you see this blank space? This is where you will have to write some writings and that is mini mini thakil ufarsin. So you will have to write this over here. But remember, not with a pencil, not with color, but what you have to write with is actually a candle. Now, I have an old candle over here that I've used. If you have a birthday candle or any other candle, in fact, okay, make sure that it is uh, this white colored, white colored candle, okay? With this, you will write the words provided over here. So let me write it down. As of now, you feel like it's not at all understood. You cannot see anything. It's not visible, right? But later on, you will see 
something beautiful. I've done the writing part. Now what we have to do is we will have to use color. So here what I've done is I've taken some color. Okay, this is an acrylic color that I've used. Okay, I'm going to use this. I've used orange over here. You can use any other color. Okay, and now we are going to paint on it. Okay. Did you see that as I start painting, you see that the writing appears, right? So this is what you have to do. Okay, but make sure I've just done it in a short way. You have to do it much better. You make the color more attractive. You can color the edges and the corners and you make it look more attractive and beautiful. Okay, so that is the first activity and not just that, but as you go down, okay, you'll see that there is one more short thing, one more thing that you have to do. You see the goblets over here? What you have to do is you will have to cut some papers. Okay, and that is maybe paper of silver color or otherwise gold. You cut the papers in small pieces and you paste it on these goblets. Okay, the drinking glasses. Okay, you do that. And one more thing, just in case if any of you do not have a color, okay, maybe acrylic color, watercolors in fact, then in that case you can do this entire activity maybe using crayons. Okay, so moving on now. Let's go on to the next activity. Be sure that you read through the memory verse for today and that is Psalm 96 verse 6 and that is Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in a sanctuary. Okay, so you read them, read this Bible verse, meditate on it and memorize it. Okay, if there is an activity again, you have a set of true or false questions. Okay, like the first question is Daniel had a very good reputation in Babylon. So what you have to do is you have to read through Daniel chapter 5 and according to that you have to answer them whether it's a true or a false. If it is true, you mark it as true. And if it is false, then in the space provided to you below, you will have to write down the correct answer. Okay. And as I told you, in order to get the correct answer, you have to read through Daniel chapter 5. Read through it and then after that, write down the correct answer in the space that is provided to you below. Okay. And after that, now next on, in the next page, you will see that there is a daily devotion page, right? You have to write the question and answers accordingly. So as according to the first one, now on Monday, you have the first question that is Belshazzar knew better but would not do something. What did he fail to do? So you will find the answer in Daniel chapter 5 verse 22 to 23. So you'll first of all have to read through the Bible verse and then answer the question that follows. Okay, and then after that, now each day you'll have to answer one question on Monday the first Tuesday is second and then so on goes till Friday. So you do them and after that make sure that you submit all of these activities and assignments through the uh, through the link that will be provided to you via WhatsApp. Okay, please make sure do not do not send these assignments on any personal numbers. Okay, not to the superintendent or anyone else. But however, you will directly have to submit it through the link that is provided to you via WhatsApp. Okay, now before we end, let us make a short closing prayer. Let's pray it together. God of Father Lord, we give you glory, honor and praise Father God for it is all that belongs to you Father. It, is, it all belongs to you Father. God, as we come to you with this time, we thank you for this time you've bestowed your knowledge, your wisdom upon us Lord Father through your word. I pray God for each and every child that Lord as days pass by may they continue to get more of they continue to be more obedient to your word, obedient to the parents and elders and be able to live their lives according to your desire, to honor you, to worship you at all times of their lives and to be able to live a humbled life, my God. We thank you, Father, once again for all the good, good that you've done in our lives, Father. We surrender in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.